Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I've been asked by quite a lot of people how did I make the loopy baby hat that I had showed the loopy stitch in a previous tutorial. Now I'm going to show you how I made my little loopy hat. This is eyelet lace and I'll show you how to put that in as well. I'll show you some in a few minutes. So this is what eyelet lace looks like. It's got little holes all the way down the centre. Some of them will have the holes running along here and it'll work just the same. But I'll show you how to put that into the trimming of your hat at the end. Now I'm using this as Yarn Fair Tootsie and it's just a white and usually it'll tell you on the label what size of knitting needles to use. Now it doesn't tell you what size of crochet hook but I remember my mum telling me that if it says to knit with a 4mm knitting needle you use the same size of crochet hook because the shaft part of a crochet hook is the same thickness as the corresponding knitting needle. So this is a 4mm crochet hook. It's a 4mm one. And a pair of knitting needles that are 4mm are going to be the same thickness as that. So I'm going to show you what to do. Now I try to fish the centre of the yarn from the middle of the ball. Don't worry if you get a big lot like this. Just unravel it. So it's just a basic white double knitting. So the first part of the hat that I'm going to show you how to do is the back. Now this is the back of the hat. It's flat and I've got a little crocheted edge around it. It's really really simple and really basic but it makes a very very pretty little hat. We're going to start with the slip knot. So wind the yarn around your fingers like that Tuck this end under that loop like that and then take it off your fingers and then just pull that little loop that you made. You just make your slip knot whichever way that you would normally do it and just tighten it up on your hook but not too tight. When you're crocheting, make sure your stitches go onto this shaft part of your hook. This is what determines the size of your stitch. Don't crochet away down here because you won't get it right. Now, I don't have any tension or anything with this little hat. I've, I just made it and I think you should just do the same. What we're going to do is we're going to chain four. So put your yarn over your hook and pull it through your stitch. That's one. Yarn over your hook and pull it through. That's two stitches. We're doing a little chain. Yarn over, pull through. That's three. Yarn over, pull through. That's four. We're going to make a little circle. So now you're going to put the end of your hook into your first stitch. Just push it through your first stitch. Put your yarn over and then just pull it through both of those stitches like that. So we now have our little chain. You can see the hole in the middle. Now we are going to work into that hole in the middle. 
we're going to put 12 treble crochets. In the UK, it's called a treble crochet, and in the USA and other countries, it's called a double crochet. Now, to do that, we're going to make the first one, we're going to do a chain of three. That will become your first treble stitch. So, chain three, one, two, and three. So that becomes your first treble. Now into that center space there, you're going to do 11 more. Do 11 more treble crochet. Or if you're in the USA, a double crochet. Do 11 more into that middle space. So yarn over, hook through the center, and pull through, you've got three stitches, yarn over, come through two of the stitches, and yarn over and come through those two. So that's us got two, one, two. Yarn over again, through the same hole in the middle, pull your yarn through, we've got three stitches, yarn over, Pull through two of the stitches and we're still left with two. Yarn over and pull through. We've now got three. One, two, three. So I'm going to do that until I've got 12 all the way around. Now this is my last treble crochet. Now I want you to count them and make sure you've got 12. Count that as your first one. So that's your train that's your chain of three. Make sure you count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now what you're going to do is put your hook through the third stitch in the first chain that you did on this first one here. One, two, three. Push your hook through the third stitch of that very first chain. Put your yarn over and pull it through both stitches. So we've done a slip stitch and we've joined it into a little wheel, just like a little wheel. So we have 12 stitches in our little circle. Now we're going to double that up to 24. We're going to do two treble crochets into each stitch. And that should give us 24. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That becomes your first treble that one now can you see that little hole that's there we're going to put another treble into that same space where that chain came from over and over so we now have two we're going to go on to the next stitch we're going to put two treble crochets into each stitch around our little wheel. That's one and another one in that stitch. So we've got four stitches now. Now we're going to the next single stitch and we're going to put two treble crochets. One, two. Move to your next stitch. And we're going to do that all the way around our little wheel. Put two treble crochets into each stitch. Now count your stitches. Make sure you've got 24 going all the way around. 
Make sure you count that chain that you did at the beginning as your first stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. If you don't have 24, you've gone wrong somewhere. You might not have put two stitches. Put two treble crochets into each stitch around your small wheel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch and join that round into the third stitch in your chain. So just push your hook through the third stitch, the top stitch of that chain that you did. Pull your yarn through and slip stitch right through that one. And that's round two done. Now for round three, we're going to chain three, one, two and three. Now what we're going to do is, so we have our first set here and our second set. Now we're going to do the third round. On the second round we went twice into every stitch. This time we're going to go twice into every second stitch. I'll show you that just now. So this chain of three counts as your first stitch. And there's that little hole again. Do you see it there? That little hole. Put a treble crochet in to that little space. So you have two. The next stitch, we're only going to put one treble crochet into the next stitch. The next stitch, we're going to put two treble crochet. We're going to increase our round by 12 stitches by doing one treble crochet, then two treble crochet, one treble crochet, two treble crochet. So we've got two into that stitch, one into the next stitch, two into the next stitch. So we'll put one treble crochet into the next stitch. The next stitch, we'll put two treble crochet into the same stitch. And then we'll put one treble crochet into the next stitch and then we'll put two treble crochets into the next stitch. Into the same stitch we'll put two treble crochets. We'll work our way all the way around our little circle until we get back to the beginning and you should have 36 stitches all the way around our little circle. So you can pause the video and I'll meet you around here. Into the third stitch on this first chain that we did. Just pull that through and pull it through again. So that's round three done and we've now got 36 stitches. Now we're going to do round four. So chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to do a treble right in that little space, right next to that chain. So we're doing two trebles into the first stitch. Now the next stitch we're going to do one treble into the next stitch. We're going to one treble into the next stitch again. And then we'll put two trebles into the next stitch. And two into that same stitch. 
So this fourth round, it's two trebles into the same stitch, one treble and one stitch, one treble and the next stitch, then two trebles into the next stitch, then one treble into the next stitch, one treble, then two into the next stitch. So we're going to be increasing every third stitch and then two trebles into this third stitch here, then one treble into the next stitch, one treble into the next stitch and two treble crochet into the next stitch. all the way around for round four. So you can pause the video and catch up and I'll meet you around this side here. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain to complete this round. And that's round four done. And you should have 48 stitches in your circle. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do one more row. And that should make the back of my heart big enough to do not to six months so what we'll do now is we will chain three again one two three again right the little hole right beside that chain that little hole you can see there we're going to put another treble in just like we did on all the previous rows. Your next stitch, put one treble into that stitch, one treble into the next stitch, and one treble into the next one. So we're going to do three this time. So we've done our two trebles into the first stitch. Now we will do three single trebles into the next three stitches. So we're going to put one treble into this stitch, one treble into the next stitch, and one single treble into the next stitch. So we've done two into one stitch, then one, one, and one. We're doing three singles in between each of our increase stitch. The next stitch, we'll put two treble crochets into the same stitch. So we've done two treble crochets, one treble crochet, one treble crochet, one treble crochet, then two treble crochets. So now we'll put another single treble into the next three stitches. So a single treble into this one, a single treble into the next one, and a single treble into the next one. So we've got three single trebles in the next three stitches. Now we're going to put two treble stitches into the same stitch. This is our increase. And then we will put a single crochet into each of the next three. So I'll work around the next, the last round and I'll meet you back here at the beginning. And to that last stitch and we're going to slip stitch to join this round together. 
into the top of that first chain and then through there into that stitch. Now that is our flat little circle done for the back of our baby hat. So to do these little peaks that go around the edge of the back panel of the hat, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very, very easy. Now you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Miss a stitch and do a single crochet into the next stitch. Now in the UK, that's called a double crochet. In America and other countries, it's called a single crochet. So chain four, two, three, and four, miss a stitch and do your single crochet into the next stitch. Chain four, three and four, miss a stitch and do a single or a double into that next stitch all the way around and that makes that little peak. So I've done my last chain of four and I'm just going to slip stitch it into the last stitch. Just slip stitch through into there. Now that's me got the base of the baby hat done. So now what we need to do is we need to start making the band that goes around the baby's head and I'm going to do the loopy stitch. I've been asked to do the loopy stitch and just show people how I made my little baby hat. Now there's no pattern for this because I just done it out of my head. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the work. Remember and make sure that the inside is facing you. This is the inside of my hat. We're going to chain two. One and two. Now where we're going to be working is the treble crochets here all the way around the hat. Now there's your little your little loop and we're going to be working with these long stitches here on that last row of trebles. It's called a back post stitch. Now I've I've done a chain of two I am going to pull my hook over and the first long part, I'm going to put the hook behind it like this. I'm going to catch my yarn and I'm going to pull it through. Yarn over and make your stitch. Now we'll do the next one. Go behind the post that's on that very last round of trebles that we did. Not that little part there, this long, first long part. Go behind the stitch, put your yarn over and pull it through yarn over and finish your stitch. The next, go to the next one, we're going to work all the way around the hat. So you're going to go behind and push it through. So just thread your hook through that long stitch. 
bring your yarn to the front and pull it through and then through those two stitches to make your stitch so we get this nice little edge this little ledge and we'll start to work the hat this way now I'll finish that off and I'll come back and show you what to do next so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch this to the beginning of that row do you remember that two chain that we did I'm just going to slip stitch into there now what we have now is this is the inside of the hat we have this little rim you can clearly see it now we've got this little rim and we will start working along that rim to make the hat go like this so you'll have it it'll go like it'll be like that that you can see it better now now what we've done is we're making the hat go that way that's your base and we've got our little rim that is there and we're going to start working this way and doing our loopy stitch like this we're going to be going back and forward like that so now what you need to do is we're going to be using for the rest of the time for the hat we're going to be using a double crochet so in the UK it's a double crochet and in America and other countries it's a single U a single crochet so I'm going to chain two chain two and we've turned the hat so the nice the outside is facing you and the inside of the hat is facing that way do we're going to work around that little rim that we had and what we're going to do is we're just going to do a single crochet all the way around all the way around your hat do one single crochet row all the way around so now I'm back at the beginning I am not going to slip stitch it together I'm leaving it open we're going to leave the hat open from now on so we're going to leave it open like this and we're just going to go working back around that way and back and around that way and back so this is going to be the opening for the baby's neck so it'll go around the baby's neck what we're going to do now is chain one and turn now you've got the inside of the hat facing you again and we're going to start doing our loopy stitch now I've already done a tutorial on how to do the loopy stitch but I'm going to show you how to do it again I'm going to show you how to do this loop stitch so I've chained one and I'm going to just single crochet or put a double crochet into the first stitch I'll always put a single crochet or a double crochet whichever you call it in your country in the first stitch and the last stitch of the loopy rows so through your stitch first 
yarn down the front of your finger, push the yarn down and round the back and pull it through. Drop your loop and come through those three stitches. Put your yarn through your next stitch, push your wool around to the back and pull it through to the front. Drop your hoop and through your stitches. Now when you do this and you push the yarn around to the back and pull it forward with you, you make what looks like a little double stitch there. So let the loop go off your fingers and pull your stitch through. So through your next stitch, yarn over the front of your fingers. Don't make it too big. Try not to make your loop too big and pull through and finish your stitch. Through your next stitch, yarn over, push it back and pull it through. As you twist it through, this is what creates a little knot to hold your little loops in place like this. So you've got your little loops forming along there like that. So yarn through your, so you hook through your next stitch, hold your yarn up and pull it around with you to the front and finish your stitch all the way along to the end, all the way around your hat to the other side. A row of just single crochet so we're going to chain one and turn. And just like the other tutorial I showed you on how to actually do this loopy stitch just on its own, we're going to do we're going to do a whole round of just single crochet. So make sure you go into that first little hole there. That'll keep your edge straight. I'm going to wrap that around my finger. I wrap it around my finger and it helps with the tension. So in the UK, this is a double crochet and in the USA, this is a single crochet. Now we're going to do one round. Remember, it's not joined. So we're going to go around to here, work our way. So we're going to work our way right around to this end here with your double crochet stitch. So I've come to the end of my double crochet row. I'm going to chain one and turn. And that's the pattern. The pattern is two rows. You do one row of your loopy stitch and one row of your single crochet or double crochet. Now we're going to do a loopy stitch row again. So I'm going to just put a double crochet in the first stitch. It just keeps it nice and straight along the edge. Put my hook through my next stitch. Make sure the yarn's going over the front of my finger. I'm going to just sweep that yarn around the back and pull it through with my stitch and then bring it through 
those stitches there. So through your next stitch, yarn over your finger, sweep that piece, that piece of your yarn there, just sweep it to the back and catch around the front and pull through as if you were doing a normal stitch. Like I said already, it'll make like a little double stitch there. And then yarn over and through those stitches. And that's making your little loops like that. You continue doing those two rows, a row of loops, a row of single crochet or double crochet, whichever country you are in until the hat is as wide as you need it. So this is one that I've been working on already. And I've done 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I've done 14 rows. That's 7 rows of loops and 7 rows of the double crochet. Now what I'm going to, once you've got your hat to the width that you want it, I'm going to show you how to put on the eyelet lace. This hat here, <laughs> I've got quite a few of these now. This hat here, what I've done is, once i done the, the loopy rows that I wanted, I've I stopped doing the loop and I added in this eyelet lace and that's that here. This is the way it comes. I bought it in a five meter lengths and it was less than five pounds, which is, is really, really good. It's good value and it's beautiful, beautiful lace. And I'm going to show you how to put the lace on the edge of your bonnet. A few yards of the eyelet lace, make sure you have enough that will go right around your baby bonnet twice. I just keep it on the big length, but make sure you've got at least double the amount that you need to go around. And when we work on it, we will be working from the back. We will be putting our hook through the eyelet lace from the back to the front and then through like that. That's the way we'll be working. It's a little bit fiddly, but once you get used to it, you will breeze through this. Now, I'm working on the side that I've got my loops so that the, uh, the lace, so the lace will be on the outside of the hat. So I've done my first stitch with my double crochet. In the UK, this stitch is a double crochet and in America, it's a single crochet, but it's the same stitch. So with your stitch on the hook, Put your hook through the eyelet lace. I'll try and make sure that I've got a decent background on it. Put it through from the back and weave it through the next section. Weave it through the next hole in your lace. Now this is the fiddly bit. What you're going to do now is you're going to go through your next stitch of your bonnet. You're going to catch the yarn and pull it through the yarn and through the two holes of the lace. Yarn over and finish your stitch. Now what you're going to do is put your hook through the next hole of your lace and through to the back of the lace. Then go through your next stitch of your bonnet, catch your yarn 
and pull it through the bonnet and through the lace. Once you've got it attached, it will be a lot easier. Finish your stitch. So through the lace from the back, weave it onto your hook, through your next stitch of your bonnet, and you're going to pull the yarn through the stitch of the bonnet and through the lace holes. Finish it off through the next hole and weave it to the next through the stitch in your bonnet through the next stitch yarn through and finish weave it through the lace through the stitch of the bonnet pull the yarn through and finish the stitch and what that does, you can straighten it out once you've finished it. Don't worry if it gets a little tucked under. You can pull it out. And that attaches the ribbon or the lace to your bonnet. That's how you crochet eyelet lace. Well, this is how I crochet eyelet lace into the baby bonnets. Just pull your stitch through, finish your crochet stitch, through the lace to the back of it, through the next stitch in your bonnet. I'll take that out. Just make sure that you go through your lace first. Keep the other yarn to the back so it doesn't get tangled through your stitch and then pull it through, yarn over and through those two stitches. So when you've got your ribbon, your eyelet lace, sorry, or your eyelet ribbon, crochet in to the end. What I do is... I can't figure out how to do my next row and keep my ribbon going along this way now. The easiest thing I found to do is just to trim it. Trim it off and leave an eyelet. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So when you do your last stitch, just fold that over like that. Put your hook through the last one, through your stitch, yarn over, pull your yarn through. Finish your stitch and then do your very last double crochet or single crochet, whatever country you're in. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. Now what I did for the other bonnet, I just did a full round of single or your double crochet, whatever country you're in. I did a whole row. Of double crochet. All the way around to the other side of the bonnet. And then I just repeated the process. Of putting in another line of the eyelet lace. Through that last one. 
chain one and turn. Now I'm just going to crochet the first stitch just to keep my edge nice because if you want to add a ribbon it gives you a little edge to add a ribbon in to tie the bonnet on. Now I'm going to pick up my lace again. I'm just going to tuck that end in. Just tuck it over so you've got that hole goes over that hole. So your hook goes through from the back through to the front. It'll be a little bit fiddly again. Put your hook through your stitch, through your next stitch, catch your yarn and pull it right through your eyelet lace. and finish your stitch. So through the lace, through one hole, feed it through the next, through your stitch, pull it through and finish off your stitch. Through the lace, through your stitch, you can hold it here, you can nip it here to hold it. That helps. I'll zoom in a little bit more. So through the back of your lace, through your next stitch, pull your yarn through. And finish your stitch and that is going to add in your next row of your eyelet lace just to ruffle it in like that so now I've got my second row on what I'm going to do is just to neaten the edge up along the back of the neck of the hat I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do a single crochet or double crochet in the UK all the way around just to neaten this little edge off Put my last one in. Snip my yarn off. Feed it through my loop and tighten it off. Now I'll get a darning needle and I'll just stitch that in so you don't see it. And I'll do the same with this one that's on the back and the inside. And that is your little loopy hat. I'm going to get my ribbon. And because we've got a nice space here, I'm going to feed my ribbon through so that I can tie, or you can tie the hat around the baby's head. And that is our little loopy baby bonnet. You can, if you want, put ribbon around here as well. It's up to you. Now here is the pretty little baby bonnet. Isn't that pretty? It's really, really simple to do with a little loopy stitch. With just two rows of the eyelet lace on the last 
four rows of the bonnet. Now you don't need to put the lace on the bonnet. You can just do it with the loopy stitch and it's really, really pretty. I can put a little piece of pink a ribbon just to define the back of the bonnet. The back of the bonnet is really, really pretty as well and really, really simple to do. Now, if you want a bigger bonnet, this should fit a knot to six months, this little bonnet. If you want a bigger one, just make your circle a little wider and you'll get a bigger, a bigger part here. You'll get a bigger hat. Just add an extra row or two rows. It's up to you. You can make this little bonnet any size you want and it's really really pretty so i hope this helps you to do the loopy stitch make a baby bonnet and even how to crochet in eyelet lace around the rim or you can put that lace around the edge of your blankets onto little baby panties and things, make a little set, or you can crochet into the top of a little pair of booties and make a little set with that. All it leaves me to say is, as usual, please click the subscribe button. Also click on the bell icon and you will be notified when I put up a new tutorial. I really, really appreciate the support to my channel that all the subscribers are giving. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and give this a try. It's a very, very pretty, pretty little hat. I'm trying to get the light to shade off it. It's, bright, it's quite bright outside today. I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, I will take a few pictures of this little hat on my doll. I've acquired a little baby doll. I got it from the charity shop. So, I benefit in the charity shop benefits as well. So, thank you very much for watching. All it leaves me to say... Happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.